Developing a proper strategy of rural development can be key to attaining sustainable economic development in Zambia. In this piece, Damondeo Foundation founder Matthew Mutale shares his idea on various topics that can contribute to achieve rural development. The strategy of rural development in Zambia mainly should focus on poverty alleviation, better livelihood opportunities, provision of basic amenities and infrastructure facility through innovation programs of wage and self-employment. It's important to start looking at um, community equity as the main objective of how we can develop our uh, communities, uh, taking advantage of the rural development plan. Okay, so let's look at uh, community equity. What is it? Uh, community equity is everyone's affair. It is the financial interest of a community to develop community assets. If properly balanced, it creates a strong and vibrant social center. Equity happily provides that foundation upon which communities can build equity. What are we trying to say? This community equity is everyone's share in any particular community. Okay? So, how can we really uh, define it deeply? Equity represents the value that would be retained to a company's uh, shareholders if all the assets were liquidated and all the company's debts were paid off. We can also think of equity as degree of res uh, residue ownership in a firm or assets after subtracting all debts associated with the assets. But this is just a nutshell from accounting point of view. But we are trying to relate this topic to community development. We can also look at social equity. Social equity is concerned with the justice and fairness of social policy. Since the 1960s, the concept of social equity has been used in a variety of institution contexts, including education and public administration. Mr. Mutali has also given notes on the effective ways to develop Zambia. He has called for the implementation of a rapid and sustainable growth policy. The effective ways to reduce poverty in Zambia is to develop and implement a rapid and sustainable economic growth policies and programs in areas such as health, education, nutrition and sanitation allowing the poor to participate and contribute to the growth, improve management of water and natural resources. Zambia has, this is very, very important, Zambia has to embrace the rural development plan. I know it's there, but it hasn't been used effectively. So what I'm trying to, to do here is to make sure we emphasize on how we can develop the rural area by designing program that can reverse urban drift and reverse brain drain. It has to be, this program must be simultaneous because what I'm saying is urban drift is like most people who are in rural areas, whenever, especially students, when they're trying to graduate, they finish their schools, their focus is to go to Lusaka, Kitwendola, to go and look for jobs. And then there are those who are already in Osaka who, once they finish, they graduate from the universities, they also look up to go outside the country and do some work outside the country. But this has to be reversed if we adopt and embrace the Rural Development Plan. What I would suggest to this is this, that the, the government should design some programs to create employment in rural areas other than always when you borrow, when they borrow the money, they want to use it in Lusaka to beautify Lusaka. Every time it's beautifying Lusaka and along the line of rail, forgetting about the rural areas. Coming up with policies to help small-scale businesses in Zambia is another issue being emphasized here. Everyone can be an entrepreneur, but I think that the government should support the programs that teach entrepreneurship to young people by addressing social problems. As kids, what is uh, what is a need you see in in your school community or a world a world at large? 
then teach those students about entrepreneurship by addressing those problems. So this is what we are looking at today. We wanted to be looking at from the way we are growing up to wherever we are going so that we can build entrepreneurship skills in, in uh, our children as well as entrepreneurship. So this should be part of the policy that the government should put in where they embark on intensifying on trying to educate the kids. The other one is uh, it's important to invest in education. Small businesses need workers with basic literacy and math skills. To many small businesses, business owners, myself included, you know, report uh, report has it that they they have trouble finding workers with basic skills, including me. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's not easy to find uh, uh, workers with these uh, maths or entrepreneurial skills. You know, the single best thing that uh, the government can do to assist small businesses is to invest in early childhood education. Mr. Mutale also wants more investments to be channeled to rural areas so that development can start from rural to urban areas. Because it's, it's important that uh, Zambia can start looking at how we can develop the rural areas. One, the major reason could be that we cut down the urban drift uh, activities so that people instead they are moving from uh, urban areas to rural areas so that the improvement is, is done even in the country, not borrowing money that always continue to improve Lusaka, Kitwendola and Livingstone. It's important we invest in rural areas, we create uh, industries that can make people start moving back going to rural areas. At the same time, we need to look at uh, the infrastructure that we can provide to rural areas. What are the basic elements of rural development? Definitely, we're looking at education, entrepreneurship, physical infrastructure, and social infrastructure all play an important role in developing rural regions. Rural development is also characterized by its emphasis on locally produced economic development strategies. Okay. What are problems faced in rural communities? The major problems that, uh, that have been identified are poverty, literacy, unemployment, homelessness, and crime and violence. Poverty is the condition when the individuals experience the scarcity of resources that are necessary to sustain their living conditions, apparently these create uh, problems, major problems in the communities specifically in rural areas. So it's important that we start refocusing our efforts as a country, Zambia, into these rural areas so that we start developing from rural to urban. We know that we've already, it's important that we keep maintaining what is there in urban areas, but we put more resources to develop uh, the rural areas of the country. The Mondeo Foundation has also been contributing to the distribution of social justice to the vulnerable communities in Zambia. Mr. Mutale explains how this relates to the topic under discussion here. Social justice is the view that everyone deserves equal economic, political and social rights and opportunities. Social workers aim to open the doors of access and opportunities for everyone, particularly those in the greatest need. Social justice encompasses economic justice. Yeah, so this is definitely, we've, we've brought this topic deliberately because we know we've been telling everybody, all our followers, that we do this with social justice. So we're trying to look deeper into social justice. What is it? What are the principles of social justice? The five main principles of social justice include access to resources, equity, participation, diversity, and human rights. Social justice promotes fairness, equity across many aspects of society. For example, it promotes equal economic, educational, and workplace opportunities. It's also important to the safety and security of individuals and communities. Mr. Mutali also looks at cultural equity. Just how can it benefit Zambians? What defines cultural diversity? Cultural diversity is about appreciating that the society is made up of, of many different groups with different interests, skills, talents, 
a need. It also means that you recognize that people in society can have differing uh, religion, beliefs, and sexual orientations to you. Most of these things you have to... Uh, we've, we've seen this all happen, but at times we don't realize that's what it is. But today we are trying just to unlock, to make people understand this is what really is all about culture, uh, diversity in relation to culture equity. We have to start taking advantage of our culture, turn this, that culture into certain things that we can do to benefit from our own culture. Maybe we can realize uh, some good business out of uh, our culture background. As one way to alleviate poverty in various communities in Zambia, Mr. Mutali has highlighted why people should vote on issues that affect them. Today, corruption and poor governance continue to tear the beautiful Zambia into pieces. Unemployment, poverty and politicians, are, these are the major, major problems of Zambia today. So how do we look at this? How do we solve this problem as citizens other than waiting for the politicians? Because uh, like I've mentioned here, politicians are the major problems of what we are going through right now at Zambia, including poverty, including unemployment, and the decisions that we make as Zambians ourselves. Finally, Damondeo Foundation says thanks to the following. Hello, thank you everyone, the sponsors, supporters, the donors, who and all those who have made this, this Diamond Day Foundation program um, easy to work and to support other people. So, uh, uh, like I just said, all the topics that we've outlined in this documentary are pertaining to rural development of Zambia, uh, all auxiliary topics. They will support how best we can do to develop the rural community of Zambia. So, thanks to everyone. Just uh, keep watching the video, keep sharing, and then at the same time, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can learn more of what is happening at Diamond Foundation. Thanks, everybody. Peace.